So once again, we have conservatives reframing the contrast between liberal and conservative. And this time, it's how the world works and claiming that liberal judges want to make up the rules as they go along while conservatives are sticking to the true intent of the Constitution. Well, that's very misleading and very untrue. Um, so, uh, case in point, how the world works uh, exposes some of the Constitution. Okay, He goes to Article 1, 2, and 3. Uh, the basic introduction of the Constitution, the, the branches of the government. Uh, fast forward to Article 5, which is how to amend the Constitution. And then fast forward to Amendment 10, which is states' rights. Well, it completely blew by Amendment 9. You know why? It's because Amendment 9 is the amendment the quote-unquote originalists wish didn't exist. And you want to know why? I'm going to read it to you right now. It says, The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. Okay? Now, I know what enumeration means. Okay? Enumeration means a listing. You list them one by one. Here's a right, here's another right, here's another right. And you can tell that's exactly what how the world works was doing, you know. He was uh, saying, well, right to privacy. Well, let's see if we can find right to privacy in the Constitution. Here it is. It's Amendment 3. Maybe we can use Amendment 3 to uh, justify the right to privacy. Well, you don't need Amendment 3. You don't need Amendment 3. You don't need any of the amendments to justify human rights, okay? Amendment 9 st says specifically that the enumeration of these rights in the Constitution does not disparage others retained by the people. Okay? There's nothing in the Constitution that mentions murder. There's nothing in the Constitution that mentions robbery. Okay? The, the Bill of Rights specifically states how the government will not violate human rights. The limits put upon government in the pursuit of criminal activity, the rights that will not be abridged by the government under any circumstances, okay? And that's not uh, an enumeration of all rights, okay, that the Constitution protects. Uh, so one could reasonably ask, well, what are these rights? What are these rights? Uh, well, if you are a student of the Enlightenment, you understand something about the Declaration of Independence and Jefferson and, uh, and that philosophy, you would know what human rights are. It's life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. Okay, Those are the rights that are retained by the people, which include privacy, the right to your life, you, know, you own your own life. There's basic human rights that do not have to be enumerated in the Constitution for them to be protected, to be retained by the people. Okay, That's Amendment 9. All right? uh, it was originally thought that the Bill of Rights was not necessary because it was thought that the Constitution would not be a document for enumerating the rights of the people. Okay, That was to be decided by the Enlightenment, by the Declaration of Independence. Okay, Those were the rights that were the foundation of this country. So when How the World Works says originalist wants to stick to the original intent of the Constitution, the Constitution was never meant to enumerate human rights. Okay? And it says so in Amendment 9. Okay? So, <laughs> so don't believe them. Don't believe them. You call a judge liberal for protecting human rights. A lot of the other amendments were probably not necessary either. It's just we had right-wing judges who refused to recognize certain rights that were intrinsic to all humans. So that's all for now.